I hope you're having a great day today. So today I'm going to film my updated everyday makeup tutorial. I've been meaning to film this for a while and this is more going to be more on the glam side on if I decide to wear lashes for a day or um, like really go full out. So I have about an hour to do this and it usually takes me about 40 minutes. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna try and not make this super chatty because that's when my tutorials get super long. So we're just gonna go for it. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna spray my face using the Laura Geller Spackle Mist. I've never used this before. I picked this up just um, yesterday at Ulta. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my face a little spray. Okay. Wow. Um, I think this was on Tati's um, uh, Glam Life Gurus um, misses for um, sprays, and I can see why that was like super concentrated. But we're gonna make it work. Um, let me just. Ooh, okay. And we're gonna let that settle for a second. Okay, so then for primer, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Shine Killer Primer. It's like a gel consistency and I've really been enjoying it. And I'm testing out today to see what has been messing with my foundation because lately, whenever I put powder on, my foundation starts to break apart, like right away. Like there's no wear on it. I've literally just put it on so I'm changing out my beauty blender to see if that's the reason or if and then if it's not the beauty blender then it might be the primer and if it's not the primer then it might be the powder. So today is going to be like a little test day and then I like to go in with the um, NYX Gotcha Covered Total Coverage Concealer first before putting on foundation. This stuff is so 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 thick but it really helps give me a full coverage concealer on my under eyes. So I just like to pop that right on the back of my hand and then with my finger go in. I'm not flipping you off, I promise. I just really like using my middle finger to do things. And then I take it up onto my eyelid as well. Okay, and then since it sort of feels like it's sitting on top, I'm gonna take a beauty blender. This is, it came in a duo, so I'm trying these two today. They were Urban, shoot, I totally forgot the name. It's Urban something, and I got them at Marshalls. So, I'm just gonna pounce this in, and these are already damp, both of them are. So that's looking nice. And then I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Hold on, I need, I almost forgot this. So this is the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector and I like to mix this in with my foundation or sometimes I'll put it on top. Today I feel like mixing it in. So I'll just put this on the back of my hand, like two swipes, cause it has a little doe foot applicator. And then I'll go in and pump three to four pumps of my foundation over top of it. And then with my Beauty Blender, I'm gonna take this big one I just mix them together. Sometimes I'll put the Shimmering Skin Perfector on before, sometimes I'll put it on top of my foundation. It kind of depends on the look I want, but today I really want my skin to look hydrated and glowy, so I want to mix it in with my foundation today. Okay. I feel like it got a lot of the product all over my face and it really didn't absorb too, too much product. Um, I am gonna go in with another two pumps just to get a full, full coverage effect. Okay, I'm really, really happy with how this is looking right now. So now going in with concealer, I'm taking the total coverage again and I'm gonna go very lightly over my under eyes, but I'm mainly going to focus this on any pimples that I have. And then I'm gonna go over top of my under eyes and the high points of my face with my Tarte Shape Tape and do the highlighting concealer thing. Okay. 
And I've started doing my under eyes last when I'm at the like final stage of concealing. And this is something I saw in a tutorial that Nikki Tutorials did. And I feel like it really helps get the under eye exactly where you need it by letting it sit there a little bit longer. Right now, I feel like I definitely like this beauty blender more than this one. Um, there's just something, they're both different consistencies. Like this one's a little tougher, this one's a little more spongy. And there's something about this one that just really blends things out a little bit nicer. I'm starting to notice a little bit of weirdness on my nose. So I'm actually gonna spray my face with the Mario Badescu facial spray before going in to bake with powder. While that is settling, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick. And today for my brows, I think I'm gonna go in with the Stilla Eyes of the Window palette and I'm gonna use the shade Being, which is this brown shade right here. I'm just gonna take a nice angled brush. Okay, so the brows are on and it's time to bake. My powder is right here. So I depotted the RCMA powder into this Inglot um, thingy that I had, but it's the RCMA no color powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and bake using this. So shake, shake, shake. It's a lot of powder, it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this beauty blender to do this. I wanna try and use one that doesn't have any product on it already. And I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any sort of lineage going on here. Everything is nice and blended. <laughs> I feel like this is already working better than the other beauty blender that I had. I'm gonna pack on a bunch here because of my glasses. And I want that flawless forehead because I have crazy expression lines. I'm gonna go ahead and do my smile lines. Carly Bible trick, always comes in handy. So while this is baking, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So. Going in to my Nikki Tutorials palette, I'm gonna go ahead and put Ivy on my lid and then go into the two brown shades and put those into my crease. So recently I've been liking to start out in my outer corner and do sort of like circles in the V and then just with small motions, drag the color into my inner corner to make sure that my whole crease is defined. And I just right off the bat go ahead and mix those two shades and it just gives this beautiful diffused brown color. Also, I feel like I need to apologize for what's going on back here. I'm gonna be putting up a vlog soon, so you're gonna see that I'm reorganizing my room because as you can tell, I'm back in my room at home. I have graduated from college. If you haven't seen my graduation video, then please go check it out. I have my cap decorating video up and my actual graduation day, which I vlogged. So I'm sure I'll have links to both of those floating around, but, um, yeah, I'm back home and I'm reorganizing and redecorating my room, so I wanted to make sure to film this for you guys, so I do apologize for the lack of a background. But by the next tutorial, hopefully I will have something going on and then you'll get to see me decorating my room and how that transformation is going because I'm semi-vlogging that, so woohoo! And then since this is just like my daytime glam, if I was doing like full on full glam, I would go in with a darker brown shade into the actual crease and just like fully go for it. Okay, so now that that's all blended out, 
Um, I haven't really been doing a wing recently, so I just like to take a angled brush and do black eyeshadow along my top lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera because I know that I'm not gonna get it in shot. It's just not gonna happen. I've accepted it. So I will see you guys when I have my lashes on because I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera too. So the lashes are on and these are the Kiss Faux Mink lashes. I love them so, so, so much. Okay, so now it is time to brush away this big see what happens if I do this <laughs> okay and it is still breaking apart my foundation so might be the primer we're gonna have to figure it out and also it might be the actual um, powder we'll see and then I started brushing the bake away with the um, highlighting color in the wet n wild contour duo Okay, so this can be fixed with some setting spray and stuff, but I want to go ahead and finish up because I have about 10, 15 minutes to finish up my, my makeup. So I'm going to go back into the two brown shades that we put into our crease, and I'm going to pop those in my lower lash line and just smoke that puppy out. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of black. Just to define it a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a lower lash mascara because I didn't put it on while I was baking. And today I'm using the NYX Doll Eye Mascara. I love this. I go back and forth between this and the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, honestly. Okay, and now to contour highlight and then lips. So, um, for contour, I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is in this palette. And I've been doing this new technique that I learned from Wayne Goss. He posted this video up the other day. And rather than wiping your, or swiping your contour and highlight on, you instead just press it into the skin. And it gives this really nice, softened look. It's not a harsh contour, but it does the job. And it doesn't move the foundation around or do anything like that. So I really, I've been doing this for the past couple days and I actually really, really like what it does. And then I might just swirl a little bit with this brush. Again, just very lightly pressing it in to the skin. And that just helps to warm up the face and give it some dimension, but it's not too harsh. Obviously, I'm going into my Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. Can you guess which blush I'm using? It's Amaretto. I use it in every single video. I need to find a new blush. For highlighter, make sure you're still recording. You are, yay. So for highlighter, I've been loving the Becca Opal Highlight. I think it's so, so, so gorgeous. Gosh, I'm breaking now. So going in with my fan brush into this, just very... I just love this highlighter. I think it's so, so, so beautiful. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop Champagne Truffle again in the Nikki Tutorials palette, just right on top of that cheek highlight. Right at the very top to make it sing so beautifully. Okay, I'm gonna go um, wipe off my lips and then we're gonna put on the lips, setting spray, and then we're done. So I wore this combo on my graduation day and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. It's shade 11. This, stick my finger in. It's um, 
Let's see, it's this one, this beautiful pinky nude. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, okay? I love how this color looks. And then just to give it a little bit of oomph, I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Uber Beige and put that right over top. And then I'm feeling like a glossy look today, so I'm going to put Orgasm by NYX over it as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this look. Holy crap. Okay, and now we're going to go back with the Laura, Gellis, Laura Geller Spackle Mist. I'm going to try and hold it this way and see if that helps at all. Surprisingly, it actually kind of did because the spray like goes this way. I don't know how to explain it. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do plan on doing the toned down version of this, which is a little bit lighter and not so full out with lashes and everything. So if you wanna see that video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up and comment down below so that I know that that's something that you want to see. Um, if you have any video suggestions whatsoever, please leave them down below or you can tweet them to me or comment on one of my Instagram posts. And I would love to know what you guys want to see. I'm so excited for the summer and to be filming again and to get this space ready. And I have a lot of new ideas for my channel, which will be coming up in an upcoming video. So you can stay tuned for that. As always, you can follow me on all my social media, Instagram. I now have a Facebook and Twitter. So please be sure that you're following me on there. All of those links are going to be down below. And that is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a really great day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Let's just do this thing. I'm trying to give myself a viewfinder and it's not working at all. It's like way concentrated. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so, okay, it's my hair. Okay, so my camera is running out of battery, so I have to do this super fast, and I really hope I'm in focus. Okay.